Hey, uh, konnichiwa. konnichiwa. Welcome back to Japan, yes. the winter series. It's our fifth season. Yes, it is. And we're going to show you what it's like traveling to Japan during the cold. It's a perfect time for romance. So let's yes, get it is. together. Yuki Moshou. So it is raining quite heavily in Japan. It's about three degrees. It's very difficult to film stuff. Very difficult to get around, but we'll try to make it work. <laughs> we are now purchasing a Pasmo card. Suica, which is a reloadable card that you can put money on so you don't have to keep buying those little tickets. Makes life easier and you can also use it at convenience stores and other places too. Very good. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. There it is, guys. So you just tap on. Very convenient, very easy. Let's go. Hot coffee vending machine in Japan. You can find these everywhere. And they also sell corn soup in case you got the virus. <laughs> Hot green tea, cold green tea, chocolate and milk. I try this thing, okay? Pasmo, thank you. Choose it, you. Oh. All right, it takes 34 seconds. Oh. So it's making it right there. There's actually a Japanese man sitting inside this vending machine, just pouring the drinks, I reckon. And then he just puts his hand there and then presses the button and it comes up. <laughs> but you can hear stuff happening right now. It's really cool. We need this in Australia. Oh. There you go. Let's, let's take that. And there's our drink. Oh, <laughs> That's really tasty. Look inside. So the Japanese man inside the machine made that for me. Icy deliciousness. It's very refreshing, sweet, and flavorful. Ooh, Kageyama! Nice! So we're gonna try out this chicken katsu joint right here. Let's go! So apparently it's a big katsu chicken chain. We've never been here before, we've seen it. It looks very interesting, got the same layout as a Sukiya or Yoshinoya, except you get to order from the screen. We're getting the chicken tenderloin cutlet bowl. I will get this one. And uh, yeah, choice. You can also add a soba noodles to it, potato salad, croquette. I want potato salad. And we get some side items. Oh wow, so you can get the croquette and stuff here as well. Fried shrimp, let's get some fried shrimp. Can't go wrong with fried shrimp. And here is our food, guys. I've got that pork egg on rice, potato salad, that battered prawn, and delicious miso soup. Delena got the chicken, and this place is so quiet. Oh my God. Delena's first bite. That's good. That means it's good. I can't wait to dig in fried pork with egg on rice. One of my favorite things to eat. There's also onions in here too. That delicious sauce. All right, let's go guys. was pretty good. Yes. A really nice place. The chicken mm. katsu was good, but definitely get the corn katsu because yeah. that was amazing. That was a golden treasure. So light, delicious and crispy. I highly recommend this place if you want a cheap, very efficient, mm -hmm. fast tonkatsu place. Yay. Mm, mm, mm. Off to the next food Let's spot. get some dessert. Be 
took a camera. So we had to pick up a rain sleeve because my camera is not surviving in the Japanese winter. It's about nine bucks. So that's what it looks like wrapped in plastic. I also got this uh, cover as well. Oh, it's hard to show you guys. What is that a mirror for ants? What is who? who? Guys, the land is carrying a bomb. Do you guys hear that beeping noise? <laughs> she walked through the security and now it, it went off. So you have to pay for it at the level you that you find it. See a bomb. There's a bomb. <laughs> Look what I got. Whoa. And it's a Wanda, uh, very thin new Wanda clothes. I'm really excited. It's all new stuff. And I also got a chopper cable cover. We are now getting some dessert at Cafe Aya. They're known famous for this French toast. Let's check it out. Whoa! Whoa, creepy. This tiny restaurant with this tiny table and these tiny drinks is the menu. Oh. <laughs> it's cold? Yeah, it's a big shot. And this place is known for their French toast. Look at all this. Oh, I can't wait to try it. So it seems like this cafe only hire male waiters a whole bunch of j-pop boys so for all those female weebs or guys check it out they're like pretty boys yeah and here is our french toast it looks incredible i got mine with ice cream delana's got hers with maple syrup and cream so this french toast was highly rated in tokyo Ooh, it's fluffy so soft Oh yeah, wow look at that, it just breaks apart very easily. Never had French toast this pretty. Cheers guys. Oh wow, very battery inside. Does that make sense? Like it's half cooked, like a medium rare French toast. Mm. Really gooey in the inside, the outside. Crispy, buttery, delicious. Mm. I've never tasted French toast like this before. It just tastes like they half baked it and then served it to me. That can be good and bad. Mm. Oh, it smells pretty good. I want to try it with maple syrup because everything tastes better with maple syrup. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's really strange. It's like yeah, it's like you're eating cake batter on the inside, but the outside is really nice. Like when you bite into it, it's so nice. But overall, it's really delicious. I've just never tasted French toast like this before. That was pretty nice. Uh, an interesting take on French toast, but not your traditional style that I would prefer. Check it out if you want to see some Japanese male mates. Was it the most amazing French toast we've ever had? No. No. Did someone steal our umbrella? Yes. yes. Let's go. Bye. They were nice enough to give us a new umbrella though, but it's smaller and not as good. So we're currently at Harajuku for some shopping. Uh, it's quiet, you know? That's the, the pros of uh, traveling to Harajuku during winter. We're at Medicom Toy Plus and it sells a whole bunch of bear bricks. First time I've seen bear brick in Japan. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I've settled for the Star Wars one. Getting this golden boy. Hell yeah. Ooh. What? 
Is that another sign? Yeah. So you guys know how much I love pigs, so we're gonna go to Pig Cafe. Let's go. This is so funny. <laughs> I have. <laughs> You've got Pumba in your jacket. <laughs> what is happening over here? He's like, get out. I've already claimed this lady as my own pig mother, Delina. Master of food, mother of pigs. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's like, yeah. I love this lady. In her past life, she was definitely a pig. Clearly, just loves Delena's jacket. Something about it. I think because it smells like food. You're not allowed to grab the pigs, hold them, or put them on your lap. They have to go on your lap. They have to jump on your lap naturally. So, this is pretty cool. <laughs> she really, the mother of pigs. This makes me very happy. Yeah. Does it feel like you have a kid? This is what it feels like to have a, a child, right? For you at least. <laughs> Let's go. It was so much fun. The pigs were super happy and I was super happy. I had the best time of my life. It was only 30 <laughs> minutes, so it felt really short. But it was super cute! Pigs are my family! Yeah. Hi everyone! We're staying at the Lively Hotel in Roppongi. Let's take a look at our room! We're at the lobby! Hell let's yeah, take let's a check look. it out! This place is amazing! Incredible! Look at this! Oh. Wow! Little doggy! A cheek book. And over here you've got this little drink station. Uh, grape water. Keep hydrated, guys. Coffee. Stay alert. I love the interior here. It's amazing. Look at this huge, big table. So at 5 p.m. they have unlimited beer unlimited. on this. That's incredible. So nice. uh, oh, dude. Check this out. Down over here, you've got their own pool table so you can play pool at the lobby very cool you got some swing chairs oh yeah for all the swingers out there <laughs> cool and yeah that's pretty much it this is where everyone chills when they wait for their room how cool is this reception desk guys look at that it's like a trolley cart <laughs> So we're now going to check out our room. We've been here before. We checked in last night, but it was a bit too late to show you guys. So here is the room tour. Let's check it out. We're room 810. <laughs> There's no doing? door there. All right, let's go. So here's the room tour, guys. Come to our Welcome. Room. There you go. Welcome. Located in Rapangi. Here's our bed. It's actually quite comfortable. Look at that squish level, guys. The pillows are very nice as well. <laughs> Delicious squish. It was really nice to sleep on. I had a really good night's sleep last night. Yeah, that's I'm for sure. Refreshed. Mm. And it's uh, a decent size. Not bad for yes. Japan, especially in the Tokyo area. Whoa, here's the sink and also a whole bunch of hotel goodies we haven't gone through these oh, yet yes, we, we got a sleep first we got a sleep first for you guys, so yeah we, get it we didn't want to open these until you guys came to visit uh, here you've got your teas coffee uh, complimentary water you've got a tv here with a mirror so you can watch tv in two angles if you want look at that whoa over here you got the Japanese robot toilet. I enjoyed that thoroughly yes. last night. So over here, you've got the shower. I will show you. Check that out. Very cool. I love showers with mirrors so I can check myself out while I wash my butt cheeks. What's that? 
So here we have our travel to eat merch. Yeah. And we have our chasing food merch. Awesome. Make sure you guys check it out. Check Link it in the description. Guys. Anyway, <laughs> check out the view. It is fantastic. You can see the Tokyo Tower from here. It's located right there, guys. Can you see it? That little. It's, it's bigger when you walk up there, I swear. I promise. The hotel were kind enough to give us a nice little gift. Thank you, Zach. We yes. really appreciate it. There's a red one and a blue one. This one, man. Must be. This big one, man. Let's open this. Can I read what it says? Yeah, you can read it while I open it. So it says, Dear Delina and John, thank you for staying with us at the lively Hotel Tokyo. We truly hope you enjoy your stay here and your trip in Japan. Since we know that you love collecting slippers from hotels during your trip, what? we made sure to provide you with the most fashionable slippers any hotel can provide you with. Now Feel free to rock it. these inside or outside the hotel. Best, Zachary. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love it. That's so and sweet. Can Let I me help, help you. I can't, I can't do it with one hand. That's like the sweetest thing ever. What is it? <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, it actually scared me! Why? Okay, wait, quickly look in this. <laughs> <laughs> See? Guys, ready? Let's open okay. it up. I'll show you guys. I'll try to take out. Yeah, you got it? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh that god. is so funny! They're fish slippers! This is the best thing ever! Oh my god, that is hilarious! Thank you, Zachary. Thank you, Zach. Look, you're gonna see my toes. They like, they stick out from under here. Look like that. Oh, this is so funny. What's it like? It's so funny. I'm gonna whack right. my kids with these fish slippers. They were hurt. Take that! Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, ready? Yeah. Ich ni san. <laughs> oh, yours are cool. I love it. This one's like a Naruto it's a frog. frog. Yeah. Would you wear this toe? So cute. I'll wear it at home. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, if it was Butter summer fingers. here, I'd rock these for sure. Yeah. He actually wrote on that piece of paper that we could wear it outside too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was uh, pretty much the hotel, guys, located near Rapongi Station. It is quite decent, very comfortable to sleep in, and, and also you get, well, you don't really get these, but we were lucky. <laughs> so cool. Awesome, guys. Let's go explore Tokyo. Shout out to the Chin family! Yeah. So we're about to eat shabu shabu at Nabezo. It is our first time trying a different shabu shabu. And it is all you can eat buffet! So you know how much we love it? You love it? So let's go eat! And here's our table. I think they knew we were coming because they gave us two grills. <laughs> That's amazing. And here is the menu. So we decided to get the special course, all you can eat for a hundred minutes. That's not enough time for Delina. You get beef tongue, Japanese beef and Japanese pork, vegetables, rice and noodles for 5,200, yay. There are also other options you can choose from like the Nabezo course or the beef tongue course, which is a lot cheaper, 2,800 yen ranging to 4,000. 800 yen we decided to get that good good so we're currently at the vegetable market one of our least favorite markets to be honest but i like the cabbage oh yeah cabbage is good chinese cabbage is always good look at that huge selections from enoki mushrooms to carrots corn potatoes blatty hair yeah. see guys we eat vegetables sometimes as long as it's smothered in sukiyaki broth and layered with different types of meat then it's okay. Second plate is for the tofu. There's also a different type of tofu and sauces. You got ice cream, some ice, and a drink station. Also coffee. Oh my God, 
all the meat has arrived. So you got beef tongue, beef strips, pork, two eggs, delicious soup, sukiyaki, and shabu soup. Oh my lord. All right, guys, let's have this beef tongue. Oh, 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 swim. Swim in there. I don't usually eat beef tongue, but when in Japan, it's a delicious delicacy. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Delicious and chewy. I just got a towel of udon. Look at it, guys. Awesome. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Always getting a bowl of rice when it comes to hot pot or shabu shabu. Do you guys like rice or noodles? Delena is more of a noodle person. I am more of a rice person. So these self-service, you can get as many as you want. Vegetables and mushrooms too. The meat, you've got to choose your own special course. Okay, I want to try this out. How does it compare to on your side? This is not bad. I feel like the meat quality is a little bit lower. Mm. And plus, the variety isn't as big as on your That side. is true. And there's also no self-service. You can't click a iPad and choose everything you want and all the food comes. You actually have to put your hands up. Put your hands up and be like, hey, can I have more meat, please? I'm a fatty. Yes, it's my 20th tray, but we need more. Yeah, so the meat doesn't come out that fast. Yeah. Whereas at on your side, we're very biased. Yeah. with that place you know it's our first love we always go there and everything's just so perfect but this is still very delicious this is awesome i'm gonna put a little bit of sesame sauce on this thing perfect this is my first time trying the beef with my really long chopsticks look how long this is i love it this would be perfect if i was frying or deep frying food and i want to keep a distance so the oils don't like spray in my eyes. Anyway, cheers guys. Still pretty good. Decent. We haven't been to on your side in a year, so I can't really say. If you get the premium stuff, it does taste a lot better. But uh, I enjoy it, delicious. So Delena is now trying a new piece of beef. This one's a fatty, really fatty, fatty piece. Whoa, dip that in. And what I love about Shabu Shabu is you don't have to wait too long, a few seconds, dunk that meat in and it's ready to go. Especially when it comes to beef, you don't gotta worry too much. All right, let's compare it. The previous piece she had was a lot more meat. It was all meat. Less and fat. I love fat, so yep. I need the fat, okay guys? That's why she's dating me. Let's go. Um. <laughs> there it is. I told you she's got to change her mind, guys. Um. She didn't try the proper pieces of meat yet. This is what you need to get. This is what you get. The fat one. The one you covered in what you, you don't, don't get meat, that. You don't no, no, no. You don't want something that's super pink. You want that white stuff. You know? That's how you do it. Oh, that's good. I'm very happy with that now. I was a bit like, oh, with this one, because like, it wasn't as good. This is worth your money, guys. We're gonna this ask for it. 20 towers of that. That's how it's done. Yay. So we've been wondering what these were. We thought it was sauce. This one was really clear and she didn't understand why. And we found out, what is it, babe? It's water. It's water. <laughs> so she was dipping her meat in water, thinking it was a sauce, but it's actually water for this. So this is the sukiyaki sauce and this is water. And then you put both in to uh... fill up the broth. And I what? thought it was sauce, so I was like, oh, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> so. And this is that fatty, fatty piece of beef. <laughs> oh, you were just like in heaven. In heaven mm. right there. It's so much better. Yeah. Oh. Alright guys, I'm going to teach you how to eat sukiyaki 
the proper way. Japanese food 101. It's very simple. There's a reason why the soup is so low and very salty, very flavorful. It's because you're supposed to eat sukiyaki with an egg. A raw egg too. So you, you break the egg into this bowl like so. You mix it up. Oh yeah. I don't know what it is, but Japanese people love eating raw eggs. They love putting it on their gyudon. They love putting it on their rice. Even seafood, it's incredible. So you beat up the egg, then you take the meat out of the soup, you dip it in, and it gets that layer of egg and it cooks really quickly on top of that hot piece of beef. And then you down it. This is uh, quite strange and foreign for some people, but it's quite delicious. It's very delicious actually. Welcome back to Delina's Solo Mukbang. By the way, guys, on our way here, right, we're at the vape store. Yes. And we put our umbrella at the front of the store, like normal Japanese citizens would. Yeah. You know, because you, you can trust this you can place. Leave anything anywhere, okay, in Japan. But when we were done, we walked outside and we saw these two foreigners, white guys. We saw one of them. Well, we think he took our umbrella because he sure. walked in with no yes. umbrella. The two of them walked in with no umbrella and all of a sudden they had two. But you know in Japan, all the umbrellas look the same. So we can't be accusing people of stealing umbrella when we have no proof. It was misplaced at that French toast place. We had a hotel umbrella, someone stole it and we had to take this really rusty, gross one. And I, I thought I saw the rust on that umbrella and the guy you know, we, we walked up to him and say, hey, did you guys take an umbrella outside the babe store? And they're like, oh, no, 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 it was on us. So we lost the hotel umbrella, got it replaced with this other umbrella, but it was a small umbrella too, and he was a big guy. So why would he like buy a small umbrella, you know? I'm 110% sure it was our umbrella. And he just decided to take it and not be a good citizen and just lie to our face. But you know what? I believe in karma. So, those two guys are gonna get karma. You know what? I think I do like this place a little bit better now. Because oh, wow. I know. They don't have udon it on your side. And they have udon here. And I am the queen of udon. <laughs> Welcome back to John's Ever First. Mukbang. Welcome to my mukbang on a solo mukbang on Chani Day because we all know this channel has been taken over by Delina. <laughs> Being back in Japan has been awesome. Really excited to shoot the winter vlogs for you guys. I don't even know what to expect. I've never experienced snow in my life. The most I've experienced was that one time when we were in Korea and we're in the mountains with soju and uh, we had like bits and pieces of snow, snowflakes. Yeah. <laughs> we are back again for a third round, third and final mukbang with Delena. We looked at uh, Chani's mukbang and it wasn't that great. We, we gave him like five to 10 seconds. That's enough for him. Those pigs, honestly, are like one of my highlights of my life. Of your life? That sounds really sad, but since I don't have a lot of highlights. I was gonna cry when I saw the pig. Yeah. I was like, I was just so happy. Since when did you love pig? Oh, right. I always yeah, you. I forgot the baby pig when you were a little kid, the best friend called Pink Porky. <laughs> it's cause you're best friends with Pink Porky and it reminded you today I'm, of Pink Porkus. I'm best friends with all pigs. Yeah. And that's why I don't eat them. He was salivating. He was thinking about <laughs> hooking them up. And I'm like, how can you cook these little guys up? <laughs> Honestly. Wait, I have a question for you, babe. If I accidentally killed someone and I had the body in my boot and I was like, babe, I accidentally ran someone over. I need to dispose of this body. Otherwise, I'm getting life in jail. But, what would you do? Would you, you help me or not? But you won't get life in jail because if you turn yourself in, not turn yourself in, but if you tell them, 
that oh you know you accidentally ran this person over like all right let's say the sentence will be less let's say it was tom and i saw him on the street and i ran him over all right That's it wasn't really an accident bad. and i put him in the boot i was like listen he pissed me off this one time all right would you help me dispose of the body or would you call the police on me? Very upset that you would do something like that. I'll save you, but then oh, yeah. I don't think How I'll, would you save I don't you? think I'll be able to live with that for the rest of my life. I'll yeah. probably confess after ten years or something. Right, right. And I'll So you're a bit of a snitch, that's what she's saying. Would you be able to live with guilt for the rest of your life? Snitches get stitches. No. Have you heard of that term? No. I to be Have honest. Have you heard of the term What? Always be truthful and you will be that is way too long lucky. and too many pauses i don't think anyone's heard that term okay what are you talking about it, have you heard of the term 100 percent truth 100 percent real what kind of sick sad instagram influencer all right so there you go i know some friends i've asked a few close friends if they would one of my mates was like i'll call him Lugan. he was like from when and where, and I'll, and I'll, I'll get it done. I was like, damn, bro, you are, you are bro for life. If you kill someone, yeah, think of their family. How would their family be feeling, not knowing who murdered their son? That is true, but I like to think of that outside of jail. You know what? Yeah. This is clearly just a joke, guys. In a realistic situation, if I ran over someone, I would have to turn myself in because ultimately in the end I'm a big believer of karma and it's gonna get me yeah maybe my kids gonna get run over by someone you never know that's why like you should always put yourself in someone's shoes you know like how would they be feeling about things like I know you haters are watching us okay so if you're a hater put yourself in our shoes and how it would feel to, to get hated on Yes. Yeah, I got you. I but that's just back. me though. He doesn't care. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you after Shabu Shabu. Bye. So that was Nabezo Shabu Shabu. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you for eating with us. And definitely come if you're ever in Tokyo. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow in Fukuoka. Jane. Woo!